Mitra Surik, also known as the Jedi Exile, after the Mandalorian Wars, was a female human Jedi Master. As a Padawan, she chose to disobey the orders of the Jedi High Council and aid the Galactic Republic in its war against the invading Mandalorian Neo-Crusaders. Rising to the rank of Jedi Knight during the conflict, she served with distinction under the command of her fellow Crusaders Revan and Malak and was eventually commissioned as a general in the Republic military. Surik played a vital role in defeating the Mandalorians during the latter stages of the conflict, but as a direct result of her controversial actions during the cataclysmic final battle, she effectively cut her connection to the Force. Afterwards, out of all those who went to war, she was the only Jedi to avoid the call of the Dark Side and return to the Jedi Council to be judged for her crimes. After being exiled from the Jedi Order, she wandered the periphery of known space for nearly a decade before returning to the Republic during the Dark Wars, at the height of the First Jedi Purge. Caught up in the schemes of various mysterious factions, she was swiftly drawn into the ongoing conflict and became instrumental in engineering the defeat of the Sith Triumvirate, ruled by Darth Nihilus, Darth Sion and Darth Treya. With both her connection to the Force and the Jedi Order restored, Surik emerged victorious from her campaign against the Sith Lords, and immediately began a search for the long-absent Jedi Revan. She eventually found Revan imprisoned on Dromund Kars, the capital world of a Sith Empire, believed to have been destroyed over a thousand years prior. Surik joined Revan in his mission to kill the Sith Emperor, who had been plotting an invasion of the Republic for centuries. She, Revan and Lord Scourge joined forces in their common cause and attacked the Emperor. However, Scourge seemingly betrayed his Jedi allies and stabbed Surik from behind, killing her instantly. Her death helped Revan in delaying the Emperor and his plans. Surik did not become one with the Force at the time of her death. Instead, her spirit stayed with Revan and helped him to endure the horrors of his imprisonment in stasis. In the following years after her physical demise, the Jedi that she trained during her travels proved essential to the process of rebuilding the Jedi Order, in the wake of its near annihilation due to the machinations of the Sith. When the Sith Emperor finally unleashed his army against the Republic three centuries later, Surik's spirit instructed Jedi Master Oteg to dispatch a team to free Revan from his prison in the Maelstrom Nebula. After urging Revan to fulfill his objective and destroy the Emperor, Surik disappeared. Years later, Surik later joined with the legendary Alliance commander and many of history's greatest champions to battle the reassembling vestiges of Vitiate's essence, destroying the Emperor once and for all. Surik became one with the Force. 